rolling. Hello everyone, it's me Crystal, and I'm here with yet another Crystal's food reviews and other things. And guess who's the other thing today? Tammy. Probably didn't recognize her because of the sunglasses, but that's her. It's me. Um, if you thought it wasn't, I'll take them off, off fully. See? Her. Me. And we're at Jack in the Box today, where we're going to try and test out different foods from Jack in the Box. Ooh, I haven't been here in forever. They got spicy chicken strips. Not for me. I'm going to try them. You know what you want? Whoa, Snoop's Munchie Meal. Huh? Oh, damn this look. Okay, you know what you're getting? I may get me a... Okay, I'm rolling up. Yeah, let's... I know I want two tacos. Okay, me too. Snoop's Munchie Chicken Meal. Chicken Cheddar Biscuit. Thanks for the jack in the box. How can I help you? How you doing? Hi, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. What can I get for you today? Could I please try... The spicy chicken strips. Okay, the three or the five. Let's do the three. Regular fries or curly, man? Curly. Curl them up for me. Curly? That's yeah. Nice. What's the drink? Could I please get... Oh, we already got it. Uh, let's do no drink. No drink? Yeah. Want to do a bottle of water with it? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Throw in a Coke. <laughs> 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 Hell no, I don't bottle one. Uh -uh. What, what? Throw in a Coke. You want a Coke? <laughs> yeah. What, what else for you? Could I get a sausage, egg, and tree, cheese croissant? Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. 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 You want an egg roll? Yes. Two, uh, three egg rolls. Okay. And I'm on number six. And a number six. With straight fries. With straight fries. What's the drink? Can you get a shake on there? Can we get a shake on there? Yes, ma'am. What's like? A chocolate one. Chocolate shake. One minute, hold on. I'm getting, we're doing it up. Yes, we well, we have the chocolate. I've got a, a strawberry Oreo and vanilla. Yeah. Hold on. Cookie. I'll do the cookie one. The Oreo? Yeah. All right, then. What else? What? what else we get? We got to have a lot of ranch. Yeah, can we get extra ranch? Um, okay. Ranch. Okay, just remind me of something. Oh, I sure will. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I guess they don't charge you for ranch. Hell yeah. Now don't hit the curb. I know. I hit the curb on the way here and almost killed us. I about threw, threw, went through the windshield. Here's my car. Don't show it. I won't show the numbers because people will take the numbers and order stuff off Amazon. Hell How you doing? <laughs> I love it. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, she loves them sunglasses. Though. She sure does. What kind of sausage are they? Oh, honeys, can we get... You got grape jelly? Yes, ma'am. Can we get some grape jelly, some ranch, some sweet and sour? Throw in a couple more for those chicken strips. Whatever you think would be good with them. All right, baby. Surprise me. You, okay, thank you. Don't show... It. Oh, God! It showed it, didn't it? The hackers are going to get it. No, they're not. I whoop your ass. I had to cancel my credit card. You showed it. And all they have to do is take a uh, picture and they go on their phone they go like this. Shh, shh, and it makes it bigger and they go, shh, shh. Well, if people are ordering, uh, if you see unwanted, uh, what's it called? Items. If you see unwanted uh, purchases on your Amazon, that's how you know a hacker got you. Just call your bank and say, hey, hackers got me. I posted a YouTube video and it had my number on there accidentally. And they'll say, well, don't show your credit card. And you say, yeah, thanks. I know dipshit. And if you're going to order something on Amazon, at least get something good. You're right. Don't get a bunch of bullshit. Don't get a new shower curtain. Mm -mm. If you're going to steal somebody's identity, don't get a shower curtain. Get something good. Get something big, like a new uh, TV. Or a Corvette. A Corvette. You know, something like that. Corvette, a TV, new pair of shoes. That's what I would do. 
and I would never steal anybody's identities because uh, I don't know how. But if I did, that's what the type of stuff I would get. You'd see me driving around in a Corvette. <laughs> so if you ever see me doing that, then I know you sold my credit card. Exactly. And they'll call me and say, Miss Crystal, do you buy a Corvette? Do I look like I drive a Corvette? Also, I didn't want no drink because look where we stopped before we got here. Oh, 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 all right. There's my, there's your thing. So I'm going to stick my Coke right here. You got a lot of drinks. Thank you. Okay. Damn, that looks good. Oh. Shit. And I love her in there. She's really nice. She's I an could, angel. I wish I had cash so I could give her a tip. Same. I ain't got none. We'll have to come back through here. Mm. I'll have to do a mukbang on my channel through here. Oh, Ooh. and I did want to say. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Damn. That's like ice cream. Is it good? <laughs> That's good. I did want to say, yesterday, me and Crystal wanted to do something new. So we went and mukbanged for my channel, a vegan mukbang, and guess what YouTube's did? What? Put an 18 plus restriction on it and took the ads off of it. Why? They want me eating meat, I guess. I don't know. That is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Well, they probably thought, oh, this ain't really trailer trash. Tammy, this is imposter because they're eating vegan. I think they so. They saw vegan in the title. I think so. I think so. I mean, it's still up, but you got to sign in to view it. And people don't sign in, so that limits the views. So people don't know I put out a vegan mug bank. Well, if you're, if you're on my channel, go to her channel and take the time to sign in. Sign in and comment, hey, YouTube, take the restrictions off. You mean to tell me you're going to take the energy to steal my identity but won't sign in for that and all you got to do is press one button? Right. You're but right. you're going to zoom in and take screenshots by pushing this button and this button and all this and other thing? Absolutely ridiculous, to be honest with you. Absolutely ridiculous. How do they know? I think somebody's working there that... I must have ghosted them, or mm. I don't know. That's all I can think of. I did them wrong somehow, you know. I don't know. They ain't happy with me. I'd call the one eight hundred number, YouTube. So they're putting restrictions on my videos. I guess they don't want children watching it, but children don't need to be watching the YouTube. They need to be doing calisthenics, mathematics, reading, writing, etc. That's what I had to do when I was a kid. I didn't have YouTubes. You think I had YouTubes? Mm -mm. We didn't have a computer. We didn't have internet. We didn't have MTV. We had to sit down and watch a TV, and if you wanted to change the channel, you had to get up and change it with your own hand. Exactly. Like click, click, click. And when I was real little, she used to make me do it. Well, I ain't getting up. So I'd have to get up and go click it for her. I'd say, there's my remote. <laughs> Me. <gasps> Woohoo! Oh, thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Have a nice day, baby. We'll see you next time. Right, bye, bye bye. Bye. That's the best damn shake I've ever had in my life. And guess what? What? It's 3.30 p.m. I hadn't eaten all damn day. Okay? So I'm ready for a taco. A little bit of uh, sausage croissants. We'll park right here. Yep. This looks like a good parking spot. There we go. All right. <clears throat> I should have put my phone on. Do not disturb. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Woo! One bag. Lots of napkins. Bless your heart. They gave us napkins, that's for sure. Here's your straight fries. Straight fries. Here's, that must be your burger. My burger. They gave us some ketchups. We got lots of sauces right here. Good. Grape jellies, tacos. What's that brown one? Barbecue. What's this? Chicken strips. <laughs> That's your little breakfast sandwich. My little breakfast sandwich. Look how little it is. That's why I get multiple things. That's why I get multiple things. 
Well, I'm going to be upset because it looks like there's only one ranch and I eat at least four of them. You want to go back through there? Is there any in the other bag? Ketchups. What you eat your ranch with? With my tacos, with my fries, with my burgers. I didn't know you was a big ranch guy. I love ranch. It's my favorite condom. Damn. Do you eat ranch? Yeah, but I, not on, I mean, regular, not on everything. That's what I'm excited about. I'm going to dig into a taco first. Oh, Lord. Sorry about that. I'm going to eat an egg roll first. And I've been trying to do ASMR to them. I'll go like this. People love ASMR. Oh. Mm, you just can't beat a Jack in the Box taco. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Crispy, crunchy, flaky. Crystal, I'll go through the back through there if you want to. What if there's a big line? We'll just eat. Can you eat and drive? Yeah. Hell, I can get blowjob and drive. I, I should be fine. All right. Mmm. Well, that's always the reason I come to Jack Bar for their ranch. Have you had their ranch? Mm -mm. Oh, my God. It would change your life. What? It's almost as good as your homemade. I'm not kidding. Dip your damn taco in there. What about state ranches? I can share. Let me have a little dip then. Fam See, it even says famous buttermilk ranch dip. And if you oversold it, I'll tell you. Because I love ranch. I didn't. That wasn't even enough. That tastes like every fast food ranch to me. Mm -mm. Mm. It's different. Mm. Hmm. It's got a proprietary blend of spices. Okay. Mm. This looks disgusting. Red hot. Yeah, I'm not eating that. I'll be shitting my pants. Red hot? No. More like shitting hot. Oh, yeah, Mmm. All right. Mmm, look at egg roll. Is it hot? Super hot? No. Okay. I'm going to get my egg roll. I fact, the portion of it was cold, but I kept eating it. You got to have the sweet and sours with the egg rolls. You got to have the sweet and sours with the egg rolls. Mm -mm. There they are. See them? Let's take a thumbnail. Oh. Got it. I'm going to have to put uh, in the title, Mystery Guest, because nobody's going to recognize you with them sunglasses. <laughs> Everybody's going to say, who's that? Who's that? Until I saw it, then they're going to say, that's Tammy. Okay, who's that guy? Whoop, damn. Mmm. 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 into the taco. Taco bout delicious. Taco bout. Mmm. And this has, you know, meat, cheese, and lettuce, and that's all you need. Put it in a deep fryer and send it out the door. You don't need nothing else. And if you think you do, uh, you don't. Is this authentic Mexican taco? No. No. Do I give a damn? No. Oh, Lord, that was going fast. Mm. <coughs> all right. Mm. 
What else? Oh, I'm gonna try the barbecue sauce with the um with the hot hot chicken strips. And don't forget, we got questions. Mm. I'm dipping it in there. Look at it. Okay, here's the hot chicken strips. The spicy. Okay. Looks like a beluga whale. Not really. I mean, she's got a little cake, but. Mmm. I wonder if Snoop Dogg knows they're selling a meal with his name on it. Huh. If not, he better sue, it. sue him. You think you can send him a message on Instagram and tell him? I'm going to message him right now. Room of home. Make sure you say, Dear Mr. Snoop Dogg, so he knows it's an official thing. Snoop Dogg found his account. Okay. All right, send him a message right now. Hey, Mr. Dog. I don't know if you knew this, but they are using your name to sell food boxes at Jack in the Box. I would sue. Put a couple exclamation points. Sit. Sit. Good. No, he deserves to know. I'd whoop somebody's ass if they was using my name to sell boxes of food. They'd have the trashy Tammy Tactacular box. Mm hmm. And it would have curly fries, egg roll, taco, and a breakfast sandwich. And a Sonic soda. Did they not give me my curly fries? Are they ain't that bad? Oh, Jesus. We're missing them. You can't be mad because the lady was so nice. Oh, I'm not mad at all. She was an angel. I'm mad at the, at the administration. I'm mad at corporate. I'm mad at Jack in the Box corporate. And I will be writing a letter. Not about the store, not about those employees, but I'm going to tell them I don't like them using celebrity names to sell boxes of food without them knowing. Without their prior, prior common, without their prior written consent. All right, this is my uh, sausage, egg, and cheese croissant, okay? And this is what I like. A little bit of grape jelly on there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Mm. 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 Damn. That's what you get. That's the number one right there, baby. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. You really like that. Mmm. Sound like you giving head. That's the only way to do it. I got the ultimate cheeseburger. And I like to get it because it has a wrap around it. So you don't get it on your shirt. That's smart. Even though I already have tons of food on my shirt. Mmm. Look at it. It's the ultimate. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I need a mukbang here more. 
You just have to double check your bag. Yeah. Mmm. -hmm. Now, would I order this without the grape jelly? No. Mm -mm. So if they sold your Tammy's, trashy Tammy's particular box, then you have to put a thing on the bottom. You must eat your grape jelly. Yeah. It'd be served with grape jelly. And if I pulled up to Jack in the Box and I saw my face on that menu without my consent, I'd be tweeting corporate. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't send them a private letter. I'd be making it public. Making TikToks and all kinds of shit. Oh, and that, that'll get stuff done when you start doing that. Exactly. Because they don't want no bad social media. Right. Or I'll do it. Mm. Making money off your name? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Oh! What the hell? Absolutely not. My lid busted off. Hm. Got me a chair limeade. Mm. Oh, damn, this is good. <clears throat> I'm trying to see what to eat next. You hit the spot on this. You really did. You said you wanted Jack in the Box. I said, all right. I've been craving it. Mm -hmm. This shake, when I say this is the best shake I've ever got for a fast food restaurant, I ain't joking. Mm. It tastes like ice cream. And that's not something she'd joke about. Mm -mm. I'll joke about a lot of stuff, but not this. Mm -mm. You want to do a question? Oh, yeah. A questionnaire? Yeah. They're probably in your phone. You want me to just look at oh. I had sent them to you. Mm. Did you get them? I did. You want to ask, ask them? I will, yeah. Tammy, Crystal, did either of y'all have an emo face? Oh. Well, <clears throat> I did, that's for sure. The lead singer of Fall Out Boy, I blew him. And she'd be walking around the house. I'm so sad. I'm in pain. I, I gotta do, you know, I gotta cut my skin to feel things. She wasn't really cutting it. No, I was, I was just saying, saying that. <laughs> I just saying that, you know? And she had a hair, you know, the bangs were over here like this. I did. <laughs> I'm so sad. You know, just walking around saying, I'm so sad. And she wasn't sad because you could hear her in the room laughing and carrying on. Oh, I wasn't sad at all. I just had to say that, you know? That's what everybody was doing. I did not. I had a goth face. You did. Which is kind of the same, but different. Hers was a little more morbid. She was putting spells on people and kind of like doing stuff like that. I had a fake crow I'd wear on my shoulder. Yeah. I remember that bird. These were some good times. You got kicked out of church. It only lasted about six months. Mm -hmm. I couldn't keep up with that lifestyle, you know? Yeah. Because I was a happy person. I had to walk around, you know, being gloom and doom all the time saying, I'm warning you, I'll put a hex on you. Yeah. Everybody she came in contact with, people were scared of her around town. And I'd take black <clears> eyeliner <throat> and just put it all underneath mm -hmm. my eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you would. She would. we got to find them pictures. I listened exclusively to the cure. Mm -hmm. And I thought, who am I doing this for? Impress somebody or trying to get a guy's boyfriend? And I thought, I'm just going to not do this no more. It don't make no sense. You know? It really don't. 
They really don't, you know? Whoa. You just gotta do whatever's popular, you know? Well, that's what we thought, you know, when we were younger. Now we know we do whatever the F we want. We start the trends. The trends start with us. I bet in the next week, you're gonna start seeing these glasses pop up everywhere on social media. Yeah. The gas stations will be sold out of them. Yep. They're gonna walk in into the gas station and say, I need some of them white uh, tammy glasses. And they'll say, we're out, we're on back, back order. We're sold out. You should start selling them at your shows. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn, excuse me. Yeah. Official Tammy sunglasses. Because when you see a person in those glasses, it tells me, hard worker, down to business, no frills, down to earth. Generous lover. Generous lover. That's what them glasses tell me. Yeah. <coughs> Woo! Man, I'm getting full. Me too. Let's try to do another one before we get oh. my phone reheats. Damn. My six-year-old wants to know if y'all enjoy a good snow cone. Snow cone and what flavor? First of all, that child don't need me watching this. I'm just going to say that for, law for lawyer purposes. For legal purposes, because we can't be getting sued over that. Um... I like a good snow cone. You know, I'm not obsessed with the snow cones like some people. But when I go, my go-to flavor is banana. Banana snow cone. Or, oh. or tiger's blood. I'm a rainbow gal. Mm, you are. Red, purple, blue. And uh, <clears throat> I don't want a, a snow cone in a cup. I want it in that triangular cone shape. Uh-huh. Matter of fact, I hadn't told you this, and this is strictly an idea as of right now. I've been thinking about starting a snow cone stand. Really? Called Tammy's Snow Cone Stand. Where are you going to put it? I'm gonna, I was going to see if Walmart let me park it in the parking lot or something. I don't know. I don't know how that works, you know. But Daryl can build it. You know, we'll just get a little trailer or something. He'll just put me some juice pumps in there or whatever. Ice machine. That's all you need, you know. And I'll just put real big on top. Tammy snow cone stand. And, uh. Maybe a picture of you with them glasses holding a snow cone. Yeah. With maybe like ice. You know, sometimes you got like ice cubes. Like I'm in Alaska or something. Right. So will you have the flavors out uh, outside the cart for them to press like this? Hell no. I'm going to press it myself because they're going to over squirt and cost me uh, product money. Right. I'm not doing that. I'm not stupid. I'll do the squirting. If anybody's going to squirt at my stand, it's going to be me. So it's not self-squirt? Not self-squirt. Tammy you, squirt. You see some of them places that have a self-squirter and, you know, little dirty little kids with their little booger fingers come up there and start pressing it, you know, 50 times and it's... Well, and you know what I do when I go to a self-squirter? Okay, if I get a if I get a medium sized snow cone, I'm putting sixty eight squirts in there, mm -hmm. cause I'm getting my money's worth. To where if if you're doing it yourself, if you're doing if you own the squirting stand and you're doing it yourself, you're putting three pumps in there. Now talk about product cost. Three squirts, sixty eight squirts. It's not rocket scientists, people. So what do you if you have a, a rainbow one that has three different flavors? Is that one squirt per? Half flavor? A, half a squirt. Well, it depends on the size. Let's say you get a medium, half a squirt. Half a squirt. Half a squirt. I never even thought about all that. I just thought, oh, yeah, open up a snow well, can and make, start making money. That's the business sense in here. I've always had a really good business sense. You've always told me that. I'm thinking of things that other people don't think of. You know, people think, oh, I'm going to do a, squirt, a snow coat stand and put the squirts on the outside of the thing and let people do it themselves. You're not a good businessman if you do that. Don't let people do their own squirts. Not self-squirting. No. I'm squirting. 
Anyway, it's just a thought. It's just an idea. But I have been thinking about it. You should get one of them food trucks. Yeah. And that way, if Walmart kicks you out, you can... I, I mean, you can bring it here to this Jack in the Box, and people can come through and get their food and then come get a snow cone. Exactly. Exactly. That's a good idea. That's what I'm doing. I'll even help you by working there. And when I'm gone, you know, doing shows or whatever, Daryl can be running it. I give him something to do. You know? Keep his ass busy. You need to have a system like a microphone on there so when you're night when you're when your snow, snow cone, cone is ready. Yep. Blue cherry snow cone is ready. And if you come up and say, uh, Tammy, I want the uh tiger's blood, but I want extra juice in there, I'm gonna say it's an extra fifty cents per half squirt. Mm -hmm. How many squirts you want? And I'm gonna add it to the bill. Cause I'm not letting nobody get extra squirts and not then not pay for it. Somebody's got to pay for it. Ain't going to be me. Right, you're trying to make money. I'm trying to make money. Not spend it. If you I, wanted to spend it, you'd set up a, a Tammy's snow cone stand for free. Exactly. And I'm not doing that. Donations only. Now, if I won the lottery and I was being generous, I'd probably do a free snow cone stand. But I don't hear the Powerball calling my name. Well, we definitely have to find somebody to do the artwork for it the ice all around you. And the if y'all are good at snow cone stand artwork, please comment below. So we can get this ball rolling. Let us know. And it has, she has to be wearing them sunglasses. Because that indicates it's warm and it's time for snow cone season. Yes. Very smart. Very smart. I'm not a businesswoman, but I am creative. And that's the thing. I'm not a huge snow cone lover, so I'm not going to be eating the goods. Mm -hmm. You know how they say if you're a drug dealer, you can't be on drugs because you'll be snorting the stuff on your own, your supply? That's the thing. I'm not obsessed with snow cones, so I'm not going to be back there, you know, putting my mouth under the squirts, you know, and squirting it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be making them for the people paying for them. It's a very smart business move on my end. Damn. Now, if I work for you, I might be squirting. Squirt the juice in there because I love that juice. Well, if you're it's now listen now, good. if you're on the payroll, you can have a squirt. You can have your own squirts um, for free on your shift. How many? Couple. Couple. You know, and after that, fifty cents a squirt, something like that. Not even an employee discount. You get it free. Well, two free. Two free, and then we'll do fifty percent off. How about that? 25 cents. Yeah, that's good. If I bring a dollar, then I can have four squirts. Four squirts plus my two free, which is six squirts. And that's plenty of squirt. And that's per shift. So if I worked a morning shift and an if afternoon If you worked a double, shift, 12 squirts. Damn. That's good. I treat my employees well. Could I use my squirts if, let's say, a hot guy comes up and he says, hey, baby, can I get an extra squirt? And I say, squirt. One free squirt <clears> just for you. Yes, but no, at the end of the night, I will be counting squirts, and I will be doing inventory on every bottle. Well, I would take it so out. So, if you think you, if you think you can squirt for him, and then squirt for you, and I won't know that there's double squirts done, guess again. I'll know. Well, I would count the, I would make tally marks. <clears throat> One squirt, two squirt, three squirt, four squirt, and then when you get to four tally marks, you have to go... Like I'm going to have a big board and everybody's going to tally the squirts. But that way, by the end I come in, I'll say, okay, there's been 674 squirts and I'm going to go through the bottle and I'm going to count, count the ounces. Make sure that not, and one, one squirt better not be off. Crystal squirts. Tammy squirts. Who else are you going to have working there? Y'all looking for a job? Let me know. <clears throat> Random employee number one squirts. Random employee Darryl number two. Daryl squirts. Daryl will be squirting like crazy, I'm sure. Get it, trying to give everybody free squirts. That ain't happening. Oh, he, he can't. He can't work there. He'll be giving away the whole... He'll give away the damn truck. I know. Somebody will say, I love... I always wanted a snow cone business. He'd say, take the whole truck. Yeah, and he would. Ugh. He's very generous, but it's not good for business. It's not. <clears throat> 
So don't come there thinking you're getting free squirts. Because you ain't. You got... Look at her. She's serious. Them sunglasses say serious. Yeah. It's that business mentality. Well, I think that's a good place to end it. You know? Yeah. You got anything else to say about your business sense? Because this is going to blow people away. Just don't be giving away your product. Number one rule of business. That's really it. Guess that's why I didn't get no ranch from there. Only got one. They're keeping tally in the back. We could have paid for it. And I would have paid for you it. You would have. You would have. You absolutely would have. I had a great time on this mukbang. The food was great. Food was 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Shake, 10 out of 10. Conversation, 10 out of 10. Now I'm ready for a nap. And let us know where you want to uh, have us eat next. And say something reasonable. Don't say, oh, I want you to go to Joe's, Joe's Pancake House in... Australia. We can't go there right this we, week. We, we're not in Australia right now. Go to Russia and go to the fish place. We're not there yet. We will be. We are international mukbangers, but we're not there yet. We are going international. You just got to give us time to get there. Where do you want to see us eat here? In Nashville. Let us know in the comments. With that, I say, may you be blessed beyond your comprehension. Is that it? Amen. Say amen. Amen. And good, uh, say goodbye. Oh, bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.